Hello guys, what you're about to watch in the next 12 minutes or so is one lesson from my course called Creating a Mini Reddit in Laravel 8. And in this lesson, I'm talking about seeding the data with factories and something with observers by Eloquent. This lesson is kind of a separate and you don't need to know that much about the project itself. So I decided to release it as a separate free lesson. But if you're interested in the full course of how I'm creating that Reddit project, you can enroll in full three hour live coding course. The link is on the screen and in the description of this video. And now let's see how I'm performing seeds with factories. Now our homepage and the whole project is full of that AAA or some demo testing characters things. For proper testing, let's seed some data. So seed users, communities, posts, votes and comments. And then click around and see how it all looks with bigger amount of data. And for that, we will use factories and seeds from Laravel. With default Laravel, there is one factory coming. Database factories, user factory. Factory is a class where you define the rules for eloquent model and then you can use those rules to create as many records as you want. In this case, I'm using the syntax of Laravel 8 factories. In Laravel 7 and before that, the syntax was a bit different. So if you are working on older version of Laravel, please check the documentation for that one. So what do we have here for the user? Every user may have a name and this used a library called faker to fake some data it's really good so we're faking the name of the user faking the email of the user then the password is password and there's remember token and how do we see the users we open the database seeders database seeder file and as you can see we already see the topics now let's see the users and let's generate a seeder php artisan make seeder users seeder like this and we have that seeder. Let's call that from here, users seeder class. And in topic seeder, we had the direct creation of the topic. In here, we will use factories. The syntax is this, model name, which is user factory times, how many users do you want? For example, 100 users, create like this. And let's try to see that with all the migrations by doing php artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed warning that it deletes all the tables and all the database and reseeds that fresh that remigrates and reseeds but that's exactly what we need in this case and here we have a problem we don't have default value for username and for that we need to change the factory because that factory comes from default laravel and it doesn't have username as a field so let's add a username here. This faker username. We do have a username in faker. Cool. And let's try again. Yep, now it's successful. And let's see what users do we have in the database. We have 100 users with fake usernames and fake names and fake emails. Great, now communities. Let's clear PHP artisan make cedar community seeder and let's create all of them at once so there will be post seeder then there will be post vote seeder and let's skip the comment we don't really need that in the seeds for now so those will be enough community seeder should use communities factory so we need to make a factory php artisan make factory community factory and from what I remember there's a parameter for model so model is community so let's try it out community factory yeah we do have the factory and its community class model and all we need to define is community name is this faker for example text 30 30 characters and then we need user ID so this is interesting how do you see the relationships and there are multiple ways to do that but in here i will take a simple way of just knowing how many users are there and i'm just doing random from 1 to 100. so who would be the owner of that community actually let's check whether we have the fields yeah user id name description and slug for description we have a bigger name so this faker text longer text of 200 characters for example and then for the slug we need to slugify a name so let's 
take that out name equals this and then slug name like this and name here I hope it works and now we have community cedar where we do community factory and how many communities do we want for example times 50 create 50 communities and in the database cedar duplicate that one and we have community cedar and we need to create them after the users communities cedar because i've specified the user from 1 to 100 so this one should be finished by the time that community is created so let's try it out with doing migrate fresh seed again success and let's open the home page let's see what we have here we have newest communities we don't have the posts yet so let's see those for the post factory we need the factory make factory post factory with model post post factory minus model post like this so post factory what fields do we need quite a lot actually let's have that as array but not everything is required so for community we have random from 1 to 50 we have 50 communities user id for the post will be random from 1 to 100 title will be faker text this faker text of for example 50 characters post text will be a bit longer so this faker text with 500 characters and let's skip post image and post url and post votes votes will be zero by default and let's add post factory here as well post cedar actually post cedar which is empty for now and let's copy this to post cedar and change the community to post post let's add 200 posts in general and let's add the vote do we have votes factory no we don't we have the vote factory post vote factory model equals post vote from what i remember okay post vote factory post id will be random from 1 to 500 user id will be random from 1 to 100 and vote will be 1 or minus 1 so let's have an array of votes equals minus 1 or 1 and here we will have votes with random of 0 or 1 element probably there should be a more pretty way to do that but let's stick with that now in the cedar we have the votes seeded post vote cedar copy and paste here we don't need that for now post vote times 500 votes for example create and we add that into the main cedar as post votes cedar like this and migrate fresh again cannot reference the post that is interesting so there's no post id by 432 let's check how many posts do we have Oh, we have 200 posts of course that makes sense then so in the post vote factory we need to lower it down to 200 posts refresh again migrate fresh seed and it is success and we refresh our home page and we have the posts with biggest amount of votes and zeros that's pretty weird let's check post votes table and we do have the votes of plus one order it like this and let's find a post where there are more ones than than minus ones so post id 13 should be on top somewhere oh i know the posts are correct these ones are incorrect so by seeding the data we seed the votes but we don't recalculate the votes for each post because we have posts votes column which is zero for everything there are a few ways how we can resolve that one way in the same seed we could actually recalculate so doing some update posts set votes equals some calculations but let's make it more flexible so posts votes would update automatically whenever the vote is added and in the community post controller in here in the vote we have 
adding the vote and then incrementing the post. So let's move that part into a structure called Eloquent Observer. So there could be a class that observes the changes on the model and does something. So we need the observer that observes the post vote new record and adds the increment. So let's add an observer. PHP artisan make observer post vote observer model. I think the syntax is this post vote like this. So we have that observer post vote observer. It is generated and there are multiple methods created, updated, deleted, restored and forced deleted and we are interested only in one created. So whenever the post vote is created, we will do post vote post increment by post vote vote like this. Let's check if there is a relationship. There's no relationship. We will add that public function post return this belongs to post class. I'm not sure if we need to add this. Let's try it out. And to attach that observer to activate it, we need to go to app service provider. And in the boot, we should have post vote observe and then the class post vote observer class like this. And now we can delete that increment. And whenever that post vote is created, the post dot votes will be incremented automatically. Let's try it out. Let's reseed the data. Artisan migrate fresh seed. Okay, zero in the field list says zero. Oh, I didn't specify the field to increment, of course. Post vote observer, increment what? Increment votes. Let's run again. And now I have success. And let's open up our homepage, refresh. And now it's good. We have three votes, five votes, and all of others. Probably we could play around and randomize the time of posts and votes and everything, but this is already looking good as our homepage.